insulin is, it's gonna affect your hormones. So for men, it's gonna cause low testosterone. Testosterone is gonna go down for men, and estrogen oftentimes will go up. In fact, high insulin will actually increase the amount of this enzyme called aromatase. And aromatase takes testosterone and converts it into estrogen. So for men, that will lower their libido, it will cause erectile dysfunction, it will actually increase their risk of depression because testosterone is so key for great brain function. So they have an increased risk of depression, stroke, heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, dementia. All these things go up when a man's testosterone goes down. On top of that, they may also develop male breasts. And believe it or not, some men will develop more breast tissue because they have higher levels of aromatase enzyme and a higher level of estrogen and less testosterone in their system. For women, they end up developing PCOS, which is high testosterone for women. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is a common condition associated with high insulin in the blood and also associated with high testosterone. The high insulin for a woman can trigger more testosterone, which increases the cyst growth in their ovaries. On top of that, they can also develop endometriosis, and they can end up developing a high estrogen to progesterone ratio. Estrogen and progesterone have a critical balance. And so for a lot of women, when they have insulin resistance, they have too much estrogen, not enough progesterone. So it ends up pushing estrogen, lowering progesterone, and that can cause endometriosis. It can cause a lot more menstrual issues, so PMS-type issues, and also menopausal problems. 